Tartarus, a miserable island overcome by disaster. Your depths, all rotten legacy of hopes, were left there long ago. Now you are an open wound, infested, and endangering life itself. That's where we will bring our people. We will follow our way to preserve everything still left. The expedition will carry on. Tartarus can be nominally divided into two parts. The left one is where people have established their settlements. New communities appear there, as well as new trade routes and conflicts. This is where the main storyline unfolds, and PV locations are situated. You will start here. This part of Pioneer is an adventure game with minimum MMO elements. We put a lot of efforts in our level design and use the best practices of narrative in dialogues. Moreover, we've created a special game mode where other players cannot interfere with you or your party playing. Oh yes, quests can be completed single-handedly or with friends. You can even have a dialogue with an NPC as a party. Explore the regions and gather info about the world and its mysterious past. Rest in any of the settlements, spending time in bars or playing mini-games. Trade for resources and try to gather as much as you can. Pioneer has progression levels, and after each level up, you get one skill point to spend on upgrading your character. This can make playing easier, but without creating builds, you won't have that big of an advantage on the battlefield. Yes, your armor and weapons itself are quite more important. Upgrading and efficiently using your equipment is what actually shows your progress through the game. Черт, вы выпендривались. Нечего было выёживаться. Just like certain monster slayer, a skillful character in Pioneer needs two guns. One for killing monsters and another for punishing teammates or, rarely, other players. You can enhance your weapons or modify your equipment on the workbench, but every step of it consumes resources. Weapons can be modified more comprehensively by upgrading a submachine gun to a machine gun, for example, or by just adding modules which increase your weapon stats on the move. Upgrading the most interesting and powerful equipment demands unique blueprints and resources. And that's the catch. The rarest of the loot can be found only on the right part of the island. The right part of the Pioneer Island consists of two regions, the Midlands and Shadowlands. These territories are home to PvPvE zones and clan wars. The gameplay here feels more like survival. Another player encountered here is likely to be an enemy, and the local creatures are decidedly more dangerous and ferocious. These two regions lack quests and are much less forgivable with regard to the players. You can lose all the resources you've spent time and effort gathering. At the same time, your death in a regular PvE zone will cost you just some polish on your equipment and a little bit of your pride. Your typical gameplay on the right part of the island looks something like this. You're gathering resources or joining your clan members to seize the production point. When you've gathered enough, you're trying to reach a safe zone using one of the suggested paths. Along the road, you're exploring some more unexplored places. Also, there are no guides on the right part of the island, so no fast travel for you. By the way, fast travel in Pioneer is possible with the help of the guides only. In addition to PvP, MMO fans will enjoy our raids and world bosses adapted to the realities of MMO FPS. After all, it would be fun to see how familiar activities look in unfamiliar conditions, wouldn't it?
Pioneer is a unique experiment. The further you delve into the depth of the islands, the more the game transforms, transitioning from a role-playing adventure to an intense survival experience. We'd love to tell you more, but unfortunately, we'll have to do it in due time. Ha <laughs> ha!